At the Larches, which is our commercial demonstration farm, we'll see Estino ewe lambs. And the future for them inside our Estino breeding program, how that ewe lamb's life will transition and where we see Totogen fitting in with that and, and how our other clients and the industry at large might, might be doing the, utilizing the services of, of, of Totogen. If we follow the life story of a, bre- of the, of a ewe lamb uh, as to how it benefits from this uh, data collection, they're born and at tailing have a, a tissue sample taken and a double tagged. There's a, a visual tag that's the same action as getting a tissue sample and then there's a, a radio frequency tag in the other ear. And why we double tag is so that if either tags are lost, we haven't lost the information on the animal. At weaning those ewe lambs away again and their brothers and all of the result at weaning is analysed back to the ewe, the mother. If the farmer uh, wants ram information, uh, then we can do sire as well. Some clients want that, others don't. From that point on, that, that ewe lamb has a culling process attached to it, both on the basis of its background and its own performance. So every time we, the farmer weighs that ewe lamb, we can update the merit of that lamb as to whether we want it in the replacement breeding flock or it's down in the B flock that goes to a terminal or it's discarded as a slaughter lamb. Now, some of our farms, like the larches, don't mate ewe lambs because it doesn't suit the harsh environment, but others do. So it's a matter of, again, building a database according to your environment and your management wants and needs. And you can go as far as you want with information to collect. And then for the rest of the life of that you, as a young adult, we're recording its performance. And at any point, uh, we decide that she's not in, at the level of production that we want her in the top half of the flock to breed our own replacements. She drops down into the bottom half or is culled altogether. And if you think, if we have got get through to five and six year old ewes, we have a full history of them. They're still in the breeding replacement flock, the top half of the flock. They've become a pretty valuable ewe to that business because not only have they environmentally proven themselves through all the challenges and under each different farm's management, they're still there, they're still performing with full history. We actually want ewe lambs from her as replacements. Often farmers have put their old ewes to a terminal ram uh, and yet they're the most valuable ewe in that environment, particularly with environment change coming at us. And so we want adaptable proven animals that breed our young replacements. So those decisions on on who we keep and who we breed replacements from become very informed in the changing environment. We also build an opportunity, if the farm is interested, where they can contribute to their own genetic progress by their very, very top percent of their use being uh, used to breed rams for themselves. Now, some and perhaps most won't want to do this, but it becomes an opportunity to utilize the very best sires from a ram breeding program over your very best proven use in your environment. So you're getting plenty of genetic improvement via the ram, but you've got a ewe that's proved itself um, thoroughly in your environment that can provide sires to go back over the rest of your ewes. And there's a whole breeding scenario in there that uh, some of our clients are uh, transitioning towards as they build their a complete data set on their use on their farm.